Hi everyone, ciao a tutti. I want to thank especially the Moderna Volley fans for all of the questions for this edition of Moderna Volley Risponde, uh, but also all of my fans out there in the world and just volleyball fans in general that have asked these questions. Uh, I am at my home in Hawaii where I will be answering all of these questions. So let's get started. First question is, why number 11? Um, number 11, I have always been number five. It's like my Instagram handle, that's my Twitter, all that stuff is the same, it's number five. So I've been number five for volleyball. And in college I was number five, and then I got to the national team, I was a young guy. I had just gotten my shot after my second year in college, and uh, I'd made the national team. And they just gave me number 11 because I was the young guy. I don't get to choose my number. I think number five was Rich Lamborn at the time. So I'm like, all yours, Rich. Don't buy flex, buy, bicep curl flex on me. And uh, so um, that was his. And I wasn't asking for it. So I had played my first summer with number 11. Uh, and I had some success. I went to the Norseka. I... We won the tournament, I was a starting setter. My first ever uh, time playing with a national team. And I, w I won some awards like best setter and all that stuff. And I was like, okay, maybe I should stay with number 11. And then I stayed with number 11 throughout. I went back to college, was number five. Went back to the national team, was number 11 again. We won World League uh, that year in Rome. Or no, it was Florence, Firenze. And we Let's see, yeah, we won, and I was still number 11. I'm like, okay, maybe I should keep number 11. People are starting to think of me as number 11 on the USA national team. So I kept it. There's nothing crazy. There's no superstitious story about me being number 11, but um, I thought it was funny that I, I, I arrived there because I just randomly got assigned it, and now I love it. I think it's a unique number, and I don't think a lot of people have it, so I like it. Next question is, any tips for one hand setting and other setting techniques for not so tall setters? Um, practice. Uh, I would say find what makes you uncomfortable as a setter or as any athlete, as anybody in life. Find what makes you uncomfortable and get better at it. So if you're a small setter and you find yourself having a hard time getting to a lot of the higher tight passes with one hand, or having to do that more often than not because you're a little smaller and work on it. Um, get somebody to toss a ball um, tight to the net. On, excuse me, all you need is one partner to toss a ball and all you need to do is flick it and flick it and flick it. But don't get fancy. My suggestion would be don't get fancy with that because it's already hard as it is. It's already an emergency situation. Like don't you're not trying to fake out the other team at that point you're just trying to put up a good settable hittable ball so that your hitters can do their job and make the point it's not our job to make the points it's it's theirs so we do our best to set them up in the best possible situations but they're going to do all the work and and uh they're going to look the best they're going to get all the glory setters are like whatever but it's it's good it's the it's the perks of the job next question who is your idol Hmm. Um, I don't really have an idol. I didn't have a, an idol growing up in terms of sport. Um, I played basketball a lot when I was growing up and I didn't play volleyball for a while. I didn't start playing volleyball until I was like 14, 13 or 14 years old. Seriously, I didn't play um, serious volleyball until I was about 13. Um, so basketball was my first love. I always played it. It was up until college, it was like not my first, it was basketball was my first sport. So I had always idolized, looked up to, it wasn't necessarily idolized, but I've always really liked Dirk Nowitzki. I really liked Larry Bird. Um, I really liked their games. I thought they played similar games and I thought I tried to model my game after them. So I liked their confidence. I liked their swagger. Uh, I liked that there wasn't a lot of sh 
show off, fancy, this and that. I need to, I need to beat you and yell at you in your face and do all that. I'm just gonna beat you. I'm gonna be super passionate about what I do, but I'm gonna beat you and that's my job. And I know I'm better than you and I'm super confident. I'm gonna tell you I'm better than you, but I'm not gonna scream and make, make you look like a fool in front of everybody. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna win. I'm gonna respect you, but I'm gonna win and period. That's it. I know I'm better than you and I'm gonna show you. Thank you.